Keep it G like that, kill shit like a bar, some of T.I. straps Money make the whole world look at me like that Can't explain how I do it, it should be like that Word. Yo, what's up guys? It's Josh from Dope States and then Lilu. I got Lilu here in the car with me too. Uh, I just wanted to do a quick video and talk a little bit about uh, dreams and, and, and what the possibilities are for you. Uh, you know, one of the things that when I started Dope States, which is this little nothing company, uh, it's a little t-shirt company that has kind of, it has grown into the uniform for people that are, are part of the... Uh, legalized cannabis movement and you know I started that company because of the fact that uh, I wanted to make a shirt for people that were proud of where they were from uh, you know dope states one of our first logos was just the outline in the state of Washington with the word dope inside of it and it was adopted well I'm sure you can understand the correlation and it was it, it kind of grew into this rabid following of people that uh, that identified with what we were doing and you know that all stemmed out of a, out of a design that I created in my brain and all the designs going forward they were all my own I made every single shirt design every single logo that we ever did and you know how much graphic design training I have zero I have none you know when I first came up with the idea of dope states it was basically I knew that I was gonna to have to build a company and no one was gonna show me how to do it. That if I wanted to build it, the only person that was gonna be able to do it was this guy. And I went about learning how to, uh, the process of how to actually even create a t-shirt. I had learned how to do graphic design, so I Googled it. And I found an app on my phone that would actually allow me to do real cursory graphic design. And I built my entire company from the website to everything from my phone and I learned through using YouTube and, and tribal knowledge and I picked people's brains and uh, and and it was against the better judgment of the people around me. A lot of people had said, yeah, but you really don't have the time for this. I mean, where you, what you, when are you going to build it, you know? And I'll tell you when I built it. I built it between, si between 7 o'clock at night and midnight. After my kids were in bed, after I had had dinner and after I had already been to work and I would worked a 10 hour day and... Uh, and then I would get up at four o'clock in the morning and go to the gym. And then between, so from four to five, I was at the gym. From five to 5.30, I'd answer email and I'd fulfill orders for dope states. You know, I had to be at work at 6.30 in the morning. And a lot of days I was super tired. And then one day, I saw an episode of, oh, get off of that. I saw an episode of This Is Not Happening. It's a show on Comedy Central. Uh, if you don't, if you've never seen it, please go check it out, it's amazing. And I saw this comedian named Ali Sadiq. And Ali had a story that was absolutely intriguing. Uh, I'm not even gonna tell you anything about it, I want you to go watch it. And after I watched that episode of This Is Not Happening, I went and I tried to find everything about him because I loved his comedy, I loved his message, I loved what he was about. And I went and I found everything that was available on him online, and I found him on two podcasts, one of those being uh, Church of What's Happening Now with Joey Diaz, and the other was Burt Kreischer's podcast. I would highly recommend you go and listen to those. Ali Sadiq. Uh, and I listened to the Burt Kreischer episode. And as soon as I got done with that... Hi, boo-boo. Uh, as soon as I got done with that, I decided that I wanted to be a part of, of what Ali was doing. And so I went ahead and uh, I made a design. I made a design for Ali. Uh, and I ended up posting it on Twitter. And I tagged Burt and I tagged... Uh, Ali and as soon as I did that not even an hour later Bert made a comment about how he would buy one of these right now if they were available I got a message shortly thereafter from Ali on, on Instagram asking me to call him I had had the phone number for a comedian that I was a gigantic fan of that I believed in his message I believed in what he was doing a message from a guy that was on Comedy Central, he appreciated the design that I made enough that he wanted to talk to me about it. Let me tell you, that phone call that I had with Ali, I was a nervous little girl. I was, I stuttered and I stammered, but I, I was on the phone with somebody that I was a fan of. 
And it was because of a design that I made that came out of my brain. Now, you're going to have people in life that are going to tell you that uh, to not do it, you don't have time, you're not good enough. What kind of training do you have? None of those things mattered when Ali saw the design that I made and he saw fit to use it. He turned it into his Twitter handle for a while. He was the image on his Twitter and his Instagram was a design that I made. In talking to Ali, he allowed me to to post that shirt, to put the design on my on dopestates.com and he he drove traffic to my website. Now, I didn't get rich, okay? I didn't market it as well as I could have. Uh, I still just messaged Ali today. And and the fact that I have direct access to somebody that I'm a fan of only came because I had the guts to send a message with a picture to a guy that I'm a fan of. Don't listen to the haters, guys. Don't listen to anybody that will ever tell you you can't do it or you're not good enough. Because there were people that told me that, and it didn't matter. And again, I didn't get rich, but I'm a success because of what I did. And when I say success, it doesn't mean I'm rich and famous. It means that I, in my own heart and in my own eyes, feel like I've accomplished something. So I think that's just it. You know, I'm not doing dope states right now. I've kind of stepped away. I got a job that I'm in love with. I got a beautiful wife and two kids. Uh, Dope states... Uh, It was a passion project, and it still is. And I'll be back. But for right now, it's time for me to take a little rest. Time for me to take a little break. Uh, I was tired, guys. I was beat down. I was burning the candle at both ends, and other areas of my life were suffering because of it. So because the people that love me most saw enough in me that they would allow me to pursue that, uh, I need to reward them with a little time where I'm focusing on them and them alone. So that's it, man. I just wanted to give you guys a little encouragement and say uh, that I miss you and I'm still here. I just, you know, I got to focus in some other things right now. So anyways, keep in contact. If this, if this made an impression on you, if it moved you at all, do me a favor, leave a comment below. Uh, be sure to follow me over on uh, Instagram. It's at Joshua Katzel. And uh, I'll be sure to put that in the description as well my email and and all the ways that you can find me. Shoot, I'll even put my phone number if you want to text me. Go ahead and do that too. Uh, But I believe in you. I believe in a dream. And I'm not rich. I'm not famous. I hope to be. But the only person that's going to make that happen is me. And I believe that other people need to hear this kind of message. And same with Lilo. She's a sweetheart. Alright guys. Dopestates.com JoshuaCatzel.com Get all the spots, go to all the places, do all the things. So, until next time, keep it dope. Be like that. It should be like that. It should be like that. If I ever take a break, go to cake, know I'll be right back. It sound brazen, but it be like that. That's right. Red Red diamonds in the Rolex, my present got a mad face. Money race, guess who never come in last place.